Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Minnie Intruder, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join me down here in Park Street Station, which may or may not be part of the green line. It says green line downstairs, and even though the sign is kind of blue, it might be green. It's kind of a bluey aquamarine sort of blue-green, so possibly this is the green line. Anyway... I've got a plan. I've got a good plan. I've been thinking about this between last week and now. I do actually have myself a plan. So one, we are indeed going to head over towards that hospital over there. Definitely want to visit the hospital because, yeah, it didn't seem particularly well guarded. So as long as I don't step on a mine, again, we should be absolutely fine to go and ransack that for some medicine. Because I kind of need some Radaway. That's pretty important. After that point, we need to get over to, yeah, the westerly most subway stations that are on the map. Now, there's not much in the way of subway over here, to be honest. Instead, I think I've got myself three options that I can go for. One, the Boston Public Library had a subway underneath it. That's pretty far west. Two, we had, hang on, yeah, College Square. That's pretty far west. And three, right next to Hangman's Alley, there's just a little subway station that in the base game doesn't go anywhere, but if you've got the vault Tech DLC installed, leads down into that, if I recall correctly. So that's three relatively westerly kind of subway stations that are all close by to Hangman's Alley, which I want to go and visit anyway, because I need to top up my water supplies, because I'm running a bit low on the old water. But yeah, priority for the moment is, got to get over to that hospital and clear it out. But with a save down at Park Street, it's not such a big deal if I actually die. Plus, actually, there's also, yeah, I don't have a crit ready right now. If there's a couple of, like, really nice, easy to take care of, no, not that thing, probably this thing is just fine. If there's a couple of nice, easy to take care of enemies over there, that would be a good time to build up a crit. So, my plan is probably just to follow the route I already followed last time I was going through this area, because that actually worked pretty well, because, yeah, where I want to go is... Actually, very close in that direction, rather than looping round there where there's a bunch of raiders. Probably best I... Okay, that's a feral, but I've got the ghoul mask on. Ah, it's you up there, fine. Now, if I'm right, then yep, there we go. There's the symbol for medicine right there, and that's a mannequin. Check the corners. Right, this time... We're approaching from. Yeah, I see you over there. I need to kill you, however. There is the hospital. Except, where are the... Okay. Chill out, just... Okay. Got a little bit ahead of myself there. Didn't notice the guard guarding, like, you know, the hospital while approaching the hospital. That's fine. These guys have to go down, however. Hold still. Hold still. Hold. Hold still in a position where I can see more than your arm, you bastard. Right, I see the machine gun up there. That person who was patrolling has gone missing. She's lost in the god rays somewhere. I could, of course, just go straight for the door. I could probably get there. Let's just see if I can get in here. I can just get in here nice and quiet. Nice. In we go. Lovely. Go. Alright, now that's done nice and proper right there. Sneak in, take out one sentry with a silenced gun, and then just sneak in without actually alerting anyone else. Very, very nice indeed. Now, there's definitely going to be a few people that need killing around here, unfortunately, because I need to loot this place. Last time I was here, most of them were unarmed, most of them were upstairs, and most of them can be provoked into coming downstairs pretty easily. In fact, is that... Yeah, there you are. Right, you're nothing major. Uh, one sniper shot will do for you. Just wait if you'd hold still. And... Oh, yeah, take a seat. That's perfect. And... Who's there? Okay. Someone's alive. And around. That's fine. I knew there'd be some people alive and around. I think there was only one downstairs, though. Last time I was here. I'll take some whiskey. A little bit thirsty, but alright. Okay. Nice. Calm. Quiet. What do we have over here? 
I recall correctly, they were more crowded on that side of the... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's fine. I can one-shot these bastards. Okay, and... Okay, you're coming. You're coming. I see ya. 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 That's fine. And... Right, I've got a nice clean shot at you. And then the person behind you... I've got myself... Screw it. Just take that shot. Take him down. The person behind has a torch. So the chance of... Oh, blind firing. That's fine. That's absolutely a-okay. Wait. Let them come to me. They haven't found me yet. So it's not a disaster just yet. Oh, I see you. You don't have a name. That's that's interesting. Right, we'll, we'll just take you out. Okay. Down you go. Okay. Have a little looks around here. We got ourselves a note to go with. Ah, 10mm ammo. I'll gladly have that. Thank you. Now I've got two things called note here. Keep grilling them. If we can break into one of those military bases, we'll be set for life. More armor than you can something, something, something. Or it's a broken quest. I can't remember which of those I already had, and I can't remember if that's in the base game. So maybe we just ignore that for the time being. Right. Round here. Should be okay for the time being. Then there's, yeah, then there's a broken down turret here, which gives me 5.56. Five, that's just more and more ammo for my new assault rifle. Very, very nice indeed. Now, time to go and find ourselves some med kits. I don't think I can squeeze through here, can I? No, I don't think so. Right, now, I know where the mine is. I know where the mine is because I blew up on it last time. Uh, quick check, nothing major. And just a quick check with you as well. I'll take your money. Don't need any of the rest of it. And also, I'm getting weaker as time goes by. I think as I get hungrier, my endurance is falling, my hit points are falling. That's why I'm currently blurry. And yeah, there you are, you stupid bastards. Oh, hello there. Where did you just come from? There was someone just behind me. That's odd. Right. Where could you possibly have come from? There isn't... Is there an... I didn't think there was an upstairs here. Oh, good news though. Fungal purge. I'll have one of them. Assuming I can actually... Oh. I don't know if I can even actually use that right now. Okay, plan. Use buff tats to give myself enough health to use the fungal purge. Which will just slowly start the rads ticking down. But hang on, doesn't the fungal purge... Fungal purge is... No, actually, I thought the fungal purge reduced sanity. But clearly I'm just making that up. Good. So, buff tats won. I'm thirsty, that's fine. Do the fungal purge. Which I survive. Good, good. And then do a little purified water just to help recover a little bit. That's fine. But yeah, supply is getting really low right now. Still, plus side, we'll just get rid of 100 rads. That's always worth doing. Right, crack on. Ah, wait. That note about, yeah, don't let them die might well have been this place. Because looks like you've got military people in the cage, but they're very long dead. So that doesn't help. Watch out for mines around here. No mines. Open up the door. Just double check there's nothing important on you. Sometimes military people are a little bit important. Okay. So that's the way up to the third floor. But first, honestly, I'm happy to just pull out if I could just find some good meds. And yeah, I'm actually starting to use some drugs, by the way, you may notice there. Because yeah, someone of course actually did point out, yeah, if I'm worried about sanity levels... Mentats actually help, which would be good. Yes, that would be very, very good indeed. And aside from a tiny bit of ammo, we've also got ourselves a schematic spotlight turret. Yep, more flipping schematics, la di da. Now there's totally something around here. There's more up top, more up top. Watch out for them wherever they are. Okay. Just got a radio there. There's a bed, but I bet I can't use it for anything. I just, I just want to, I just want to turn the radio, I just want to turn the, never mind, I won't turn the radio off. A syringe rifle there, and an actual chemistry station. Okay, not bad, but hang on, didn't I see a, wait, where was that? I, I saw a med thing around here somewhere, because I peeked through this broken down bit here, and, I know I saw a med kit in here. Ah, there it is. Right, okay, Oh, 
Oh, flipping my. Oh. 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 I'm very happy. Right. Okay. Think very carefully about the right order for this. There's 10 sanity right there. That's another 10 people I can murder without panicking. Okay. I'm very tempted to basically just say screw it and leave at this point. Very tempted indeed. Is the syringe rifle worth taking? Like, am I ever going to have the materials to make the stuff for it? And can I sleep? I'm guessing I can! Marvellous! I've got a save in everything! And not sick either. Good! Right, well that means I can pretty confidently now just basically head through here and potentially murder a few more folks if that's what I need to do. Let's have a little check round here. Just basically, I don't really want this to stand, uh, but I wouldn't mind just having a quick looksy round just to check for... Yeah, more med... Hello! I see you over there. Right, you're dead. Uh, just to have a quick check round for more medical kits and whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll just kind of have a little quick looksy round here -y. See what we got. I mean, if there's nothing here, maybe I'll just revert back to that save. There's no point, like, you know... Actually wasting my sanity. That is... Ah! That leads up to the fourth floor. So it's just a temporary interruption to the staircase. Fine. I don't remember exactly how all this building goes. That's not going to open up. Fine. Nothing major. Onwards and upwards then. Well, actually, wait. Hang on. Just double check you. No. No actual fungal purge. That would be nice. If I could just find a radaway. Remember, I did actually come here for the radaway. Which I haven't actually, like, you know, found yet. So... It's not all gravy just at this moment. What we do, however, have is an elevator and a door to medical... Ooh, hang on, is that the one close by to the garden where the death claw shows up? So I wouldn't mind nipping there, not for the death claw, but because I believe the train has another med kit on it. Because I've only found one kit so far. An amazing kit, but still... Let's check both of them, because we've got the kit, and we've also got an elevator that might lead up to the roof. If it does, I don't really... Actually, let's start with the lift. Let's start with the lift right now. If this is bad, we can just basically say, screw it. Okay, where am I now? Ah! I know where I am now. It's this facility. Okay, yeah, and there's the, um, there's the armor right there. Gotta be a little bit careful here, though, because you, if spooked, run into the armor. Yeah, I don't want to take the risk in this room. The thing is, if people get spooked, they can make it for the power armor. I don't really want to get into a power armor fight. I'm just going to back off, actually, I think. One more thing to check. Back outside to the station. This is not quite where I thought I was going to... Oh! Hello! Right, didn't realise you were going to be here. You just... Just hold still for a second, please. Yeah, there we go. That's absolutely perfect, in fact. Lovely. So you can just die. Now, perfect world. Just No. No, it's cool. He died of natural causes. Good dramatic entrance there, but I don't think it's going to work out for you. Good, 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 good. Let's just have a quick check of your base here. Just a nice little cooking station. Yeah, okay. This is, this is fine, just a handful of money. Uh, take the money if it's floating around. Ooh, five, five, six. Yeah, just check random containers, because random containers contain, yeah, quite a bit of ammo, thanks to Scrounger 2. <laughs> really liking Scrounger 2. Might well take Scrounger when I do Yonel Live once now. Wasn't originally planning to, but actually, yeah, feels like it could be a good idea. Now, is this where I thought I was going to be? Not exactly, but it is a train. Now, just be very careful with the train. Because the trains sometimes contain, you know, people who want to check your tickets. And I don't think I've got a ticket. So just, that's not a drop. That's fine. But yeah, there's often a med kit at the front. Now, is that something inside the train? Or is it... Is it not? No, this leads out onto... A highway. It's the other train on the other side that... Right, okay. So now I'm... Now I'm here. Okay, I was just supposed to be going to the hospital to get some medicine. Alright, there was... Now I've discovered Hester's Consumer Robotics. 
which I think someone mentioned in the comments, but I can't actually remember why at this point. Uh, oh, I know where I am. Yeah, okay. Or at least I know which bit of the map I'm in. Right, I'm miles off where I should be. There's a Protectron. Good Protectron friend. Good. There's a Ghoul. Good Ghoul friend. I don't really want to drop down here, however, because this is nowhere near where I want to be on the map. This is way over to the, um, yeah, way over to the east. When I say way over to the east, it's not actually very much to the east to where I was. It's probably fine, to be honest, yes. Okay, well, what I can do is, if it's safe, yeah, I can drop a safety save right here. And from there, just go for a nice little explore. Because I've got my robot friend to help me out. So, may as well check what's in Hester's right here. Because, yeah, I've got the save down. Because somebody mentioned this place. Now, they may have just been planning to troll me. Because this does not look like a friendly place I want to be. Like, at all. Not in the slightest. This, this looks like a bad place. This looks like a place that's going to kill me. Like, 100% I'm going to die here. But, that's fine. Isn't this the place with the bloody... Yep. Yeah. Thought it was. Just going to close that door. Yep. So... Not convinced I actually want to be here at all, comment section. I feel like I'm being misled, quite frankly. Um, is there anything good here? Okay, well, there's these back rooms. Ammo box with nothing in it. Nothing, nothing. A little bit of booze. Yeah, go on then, why not? Just the odd drink will not be that bad. Someone who tried to fix a human... Didn't work out for them. The robots haven't woken up yet, though. What's the trigger for them waking up? That I cannot remember. And that's probably... A thing. Okay. So I was right. I didn't want to come in here. Wait, maybe the person in the comments said, What's electronics? Possibly I was at the wrong electronics store. Except, of course, I've just remembered why I came here, right? I got a bit excited by the antibiotics, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here for the flipping Radaway. And I haven't found that yet, so I need to clear out this room up here. Because I need to get to the med box at the back. Because that's the CT scan room, and there's totally a med box in there. And I need to find some Radaway, alright? Like, the reason we came to the hospital was medicine. And we haven't found the medicine we needed yet. Now, where's... Ooh. Hello. Right, you just hold still right there. Hold, hold still. Hold, 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 hold. Lovely. Right, okay. There was someone else in here. I saw someone moving up top, I think. And that's a silenced weapon. They don't seem to be aware of me. Yeah, there's, there's someone else. There's, oh, I saw ya. I see ya, I see ya, I see ya. Chill out, chill out, and... Oh, oh, oh. One more bullet will do it. Nice. Okay, took a few bullets, but job done, and all quiet, alright, lovely. Yeah, I was just scared of that guy getting into the power armour, but if there's only two actually, yeah, that's not so bad. And I'll help myself to a little bit of stuff off you bastards. And yeah, this is, oh yeah, fusion core, torso, right leg, right arm, not bad at all. And then we've got over here, CT machine, bunch of wrecked computers, and there it is. Uh, ooh, okay. Stim pack, more Addictol. Okay, I've got multiple doses of Addictol right now. That's interesting. Because that means I could basically, yeah, take on alcoholism again. Without it really being a major issue. At all. Okay. Of interest. Of interest, that is. Any more? No. Tragically, that's your lot. Okay. In that case, I think I'm pretty happy to head back. Because there's... The only thing up top now is I believe... Uh, is there a lift up there? I think there's a lift up there. But that is the lift that goes up to the roof. And I think the roof is the death claw. Um, but then I've been wrong before. So I guess I may as well just have a quick check up here. I'm hungry and thirsty. That's fine. Except something seems to have gone a bit wrong here. Um, 
Because I seem to be... I seem to be in this lift still. I've been in here for about 30 seconds. Game? Game, are we okay? Fallout? Hello? Huh. Okay. I, I'm just trapped in a lift. There's, there's just a lift here. Right. I swear this lift goes to the roof. But it appears to be broken, so... Um... I guess if it doesn't get here in a minute, I'll just have to revert back to the, um, yeah, the save on the roof. And just, yeah, clear that med box and then that'll be the end of the hospital, I guess. Yep, I'm just stuck in this lift forever, so, oh, now it's gone great. Wait, what? What? And is, is this where I think it is? Is this? No, this isn't what I thought it was. And also it went green for a second and, and everything's weird. Right. Why does it just... What's going on? Um, well, there's a med box here. It's weirdly empty. And now there's, well, I suppose, technically, there's... Oh, there's mines. There's mines, and they're guarding drugs, but not the sort of drugs I like. Screw it. Right, well, I guess I can use this thing to get down. Where does this even bring me down? I I don't know. I can't remember. I thought I was in the Deathclaw Garden. Maybe that's somewhere else. Uh, but okay. I'm, I'm just here now. I just live here. It's fine. And this has brought me down onto... I'm not sure I wanted to be here. Where the heck am I? No! I don't want any of this. I don't want to just randomly murder people. Take me back up. I'm going back the way I came. Ah, the elevator ride back down was much shorter. I think it was just struggling to load the overworld for some reason. <laughs> okay, life is interesting and good. Uh, well, I'm tired. And there are some beds here, so I guess I may as well get a proper night's sleep while I'm passing through. And I am well rested, and I've not picked up any sickness. Lovely. Right, down we go, and yeah, any elevator weirdness notwithstanding on our way. Though apparently I might not be done with the ground floor yet. I might actually be- oh! Yeah, I, I see your sledgehammer. Pop out why don't you? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's nice. Now you're, everyone's freaking out at this point. And okay, there was there were multiple people here. Are we safe? No, we're still not 100% safe here. Okay. Well, this is all interesting. Uh, and also, you, you don't exist. Okay, this entire environment is just being weird. Uh, well, maybe there might be a chance for... Okay, don't wake him up. One. Going down these steps would lead into a different side of the hospital I haven't been to. Yeah, I th Oh! Okay. That's the lobby. There's unlikely to be any kits in there. This room, however, is the emergency room. Now, logically, if there was going to be one place... But there was going to be, like, some medicine. It would be in an emergency room. Yes. This might not be a total waste yet. Oh. Okay, please, 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 please. It's right away. It's right away. Oh, my goodness. It's... Okay. This place is well stocked. Oh, my... Oh, flipping my. It turns out it was on the ground floor, or rather, the first floor all along. I didn't need to bother doing all that stuff I just did. Well done, mate. Uh, that, unfortunately, is locked. I could activate the medical bot. I'm not sure I actually want to. Brain fungus is actually quite useful. I think you use that to make a medicine or something. I can't remember. Loads of brain fungus. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Yeah, that's... It feels like he's sick, to be honest. I feel like he's not well. I've got what I wanted. I've got right away. I've also picked up antibiotics and a dick toll. Let's just get out of here at this point, all right? I've done well. I've got what I want. I'm just going to quickly check around for a little bit more ammo as well. Might be some more good ammo floating around on the corpses. Nothing I can see, so let's get this done. One rat away that's going to make me hungry. I know that. I'm famished from lack of food, in fact. Well, that's fine. I've got myself food I can eat right now. Feel better Peckish is fine, and I think I'm a little bit thirsty as well. Yeah, so now I'm up to Peckish and Parched. That'll do me for the time being. Now remember, the moment we leave, we immediately break to the right and start running. We do not want to cause trouble with these bastards if we can avoid it. Go, go. Found? 
Okay. Apparently they... Okay. They're just willing to say, you know what? Go away and we'll call it even. Well, that's... That's bloody nice. I wish I'd known that before I murdered all of them. Right, so just straight and then a quick left. And we're back to... Yeah, then we're actually back to uh, park. And we should be... Oh. Okay, that's that's fine. That's just that guy who's over there. No need to cause trouble with him. And now, with the ghoul mask on, I should just be able to pretty much sprint straight back to where I want to go. And look at that health. I've got most of my health bar back. It's not perfect, but it'll flip and do. All we've got along this area is going to be, yes, yeah, some survivors on the left. Should just be able to sprint past them. Once we get past them, it's a bunch of ghouls hanging outside uh, Trinity Tower. But that's not a problem at all. Because, yeah, they won't actually aggro on me. They're over on that side of the road. I stay on this side of the road. Just ignore that. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Don't care. Ghouls are cool with me. That's the important thing. And I think we should at this point be safe to... Yeah, I think we're at this point safe to basically start moving at speed. Because uh, all these ghouls are 100% cool. Don't need to have any trouble with them. And we're back into mostly safe territory. Unless, of course, the US Army Remnant guy has respawned in. But he's a one-shot kill. And actually, I might need to get some armor. If his corpse is still there, I killed one of them not long ago. If his body was still on the ground, that could actually work out very much in my favor. Because I think I'm still missing a right leg and a chest piece. I do need to replace those. In fact, I probably should just replace them while I was doing that. The whole bunch of raids will probably have some basic stuff that would have done the job. And... Is that body in front of me? I don't think it is. No. Unfortunately, it's just some rubble. And just double check no one's invaded while I've been away. Nope. All looks nice and quiet. Hangman's Alley. Indeed, we have made it back home. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, time to figure out what we're doing next at this point. Because I may be a little bit lacking in food, to be honest. Food could become a problem soon. All right. Things I have plenty of right now. Purified water. That's good. Problem is, without my pocketed chest piece, I'm pretty much at weight capacity. A 120. Because I've lost 10 weight capacity off that chest piece. And five off the leg piece. So I've only got 120 weight capacity right now. If I'm carrying some spare water, that's already filled up. I feel like I should store the damaged hazmat suits here. If I'm going underground, I have no reason to believe I'm going to need it. So I should probably store that here. Is there anything else I can leave here? Probably, yeah, an ID weighing one. Do I actually want to take the scoped assault rifle with me? It does have plenty of ammo going on. If it runs out of ammo, or if the plasma rifle runs out of ammo, I will simply drop whichever one of them runs out first. That'll be fine. And yeah, that damaged hazmat suit can indeed stay here. So I've got six spare capacity. Because I'm going to need to pick up food and then carry it somewhere where I can cook it. So I need some spare capacity. Also, one other thing worth checking. The chem box... Do I have any? No. I don't have any Mentats. Because I feel like just occasionally doing the odd Mentats, just basically trying to keep track of how many people I'm killing and taking Mentats along with that so I can keep my sanity where it should be, That's that would be a good idea. But I don't have any of that, so not really a starter for the moment. Alright, let's actually enact the plan here. I don't think there's anything we actually really need to do here now I've topped up my water supplies. So... It's time to begin exploring underground. I can drop a nice save here, and then basically I can just check these places one by one. One of them has got to have a good lead, because these are, as far as I can tell, the, yeah, westerly most locations that go underground. So let's just drop a save in my bed nice and quick here, and then crack on to number one. Oh, I haven't actually used the antibiotics yet, by the way, because, yeah, the antibiotics, um, the only thing I'm actually suffering from right now is fatigue. That will burn out over time, and I'm close by to my base. So there's not much point burning my antibiotics just for the sake of getting that out of the way. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this doesn't do anything. It's not a marked location in the base game. It's just here. 
but what it does do is, yeah, I believe it lets you access the Vault Tech um, underground area as a shortcut once you've actually got that underway. That is... Is it always called that? I'm trying to remember now if it was always called that, because my brain's saying no and there's something in here. There shouldn't be anything in here. This place should not be in any way inhabited. This place is supposed to be deserted. Okay. Chained. Now that might be true in the... Oh, bloody hell. What is this like in the base game? Maybe there's like some odd rad roaches or something. I, I can't... Re oh. Okay. That's just ghouls. Ghouls is fine. Me and ghouls got no problem with each other. Aside from the fact I need to keep my bloody distance. Well, let's just head down further and further. This would appear to just be a shrine. Sewers. Okay. Sewers is interesting. Well, just from the, yeah, the heads. I mean, this shrine is not in the base game. I think we found something here. This is no. Okay. I've gone to the west of the subway line. And this is no. This, this feels like a good first step here. Now, where am I? Because this looks, oh. Uh, this looks suspiciously... And worryingly, like... Ooh. Uh-oh. Have, have I just fallen down? Okay. So, I've just fallen down here. So, that's good. This looks suspiciously like the territory I went into long, long, long ago. When I was visiting the Molden Men. This looks like their territory to me. And it's also very, very bloody dark. Though actually, I do appear to be alone right now. Okay. Now, where exactly am I? Why is there stuff going off in every direction? Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Oh. Hang on. This actually looks rather familiar. This looks rather familiar indeed. In fact, I think I know where I am. This is the end of the Molden Men territory. Because, yeah, I've been here before, long ago, in part two. This is where I've been. This, over here, is the, yeah, the end of the area you get to if you go into Molden Men territory. Because that waterway, yeah, they've got their little shrine, like, way in that direction. And then the sewers it's referring to are, in fact, an area that's inhabited and infested by ghouls. Now, the first time I came here, I just said, screw it, I can't go that way, I've got to retreat. Because I had no way of actually getting through that area. But now, now I, well, one, I can just walk through it, but I'll take a bunch of rads. Okay, if this doesn't work out, I might redo this. I might just reload back from a base and redo this bit later. But, I think I know where this goes. Because it, it's down underground to that, um, the bit where there's the, the serial killer who's taunting the detective in the base game. Where there's that old story. So you guys all wake up. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, I'm starting to wish I... No, I'm starting to wish I hadn't brought the hazmat suit. Because the hazmat suit, of course, has the flipping, uh... Yeah, you can't actually wear the ghoul mask at the same time. Uh, so. So, 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 so. I'm going to take a whole bunch of rads here. But that's absolutely fine. Uh, question is... What, if anything, is... Don't panic. And I'm getting ill because you get ill just by association with ghouls. Now I'm trying to remember whether I'm going through this area forwards or backwards. And also, the game keeps playing the You've just found something... Uh, noise and I can't actually get back up there. So I'm guessing that's an alternative way to fall down here. Yeah, dear detective one. Okay, so this is actually where you enter this area from. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through it as you would go through it and hopefully not die of rats. Though I'm probably going to die of rats because ultimately I get through to this room and it's ten bajillion ghouls. Yeah, this feels like an area that might be guarding something important. And I'm going to take ten bajillion more actual rats cutting through it, but it might actually go somewhere useful. Right, loop around the top here. That brings me to 
Is this area... Okay, this area is up from where I was. Keep pushing through. Because this... I mean, this has got to be going somewhere. Because some of this... Like, not this many ghouls are present in the base game. So as a result, there's... They've got to be guarding... When I say they've got to be guarding something... They don't. That is just back to the beginning. Right, so what's the point of this station in that case? There might not be one. I might be barking up the wrong tree. All right, back here, begin again. Let's see what we've got going on along the actual ghoul subway line. And once again, I can just restart until we get this right, until we find what we're looking for. Because this... This has got to be something. So, down and round, and we've got a handful of ghouls floating around. That's okay, and feel ill infection just from being close to a ghoul. Well, that's just perfect. So, this version of reality is not standing. That's okay. <laughs> Blocked tunnel. Uh, through this way. Let's just investigate, because there's a lot of bloody tunnels in this game. So, I'm happy to basically just, yeah, explore them as fast as possible. And then see what we find. What is this up here? That's just... Okay, subway line. Going south. South from where I am. Where would that be going towards? And we've got... Oh, Hello. Well, someone's apparently searching for me. Um, is it you? Are you searching for me? Are you angry at me? Okay, that person seems to be angry at me, so... Sorry, you have to go down because you were apparently, like, not keen on me being present. Right, well, this is new because that does not ring a bell at all. So you've got Radix on you. That's nice. And also, something's freaking out. Right, let's just have a little look-see. Was that a ghoul over there? That The movement looked like a ghoul to me. No! Survivor. Okay, if I just okay, if I'm just willing to basically just run past you, are you cool to just let me go, or are you gonna be dicks about this? Okay. You didn't have to be dicks about it. You could have just let me go. I clearly wanted to just leave. And we've got yep, there's the infection spreading. <laughs> okay, so we've got the ghouls leads into a tunnel with a handful of basic survivors. I've been found. So the game says, yeah, I have been found. Good luck killing me, however. Yeah, screw you. You know what? Screw all of you. I do not want to kill you. I just want to pass through. If you're going to be dicks about this, I am happy to murder every last flipping one of you. And now I'm heading... I've headed south for a bit. Now I'm turning east. So let's just try and keep track of where I am exactly. Because, that med box? Ooh, a stim pack. Well, that's just nice of you. Uh, right. Emergency flares. Good for lighting the tunnels, but I've got a proper torch. More tunnel. Okay. And we can also just cut through here to... Okay, going down. Let's just see which way goes which. Because, yeah, these whole areas, they're very mazy. Uh, so figuring out exactly what's... Oh! Right, well, let's just take you out nice and quick. That took a fair few bullets. Okay. We got ourselves... It's a bit of an unusual... Okay! I think I've found what I'm looking for. Well, this has actually gone pretty well so far. So, in which case... What I'm going to say is... Yep, I was literally about to cure you, screw you. Let's actually see if we can make this work. If we can't, we'll just restart back at the base. That's fine. But as I'm here, I think it would be anticlimactic to actually reset now. We've got ourselves a door. So, one set of antibiotics. That will make me thirsty, however. Luckily, I brought all the water in the world. So, that should get rid of infection and also fatigue. And yes, indeed, I'm now fine, apart from suppressed immunity and hunger. Now, what the heck is going on here? Ooh. Well. This is interesting. That's an asset that's been borrowed from... I'm pretty sure that's in... That's in one of the DLCs, isn't it? Also, apparently, the same key that opened that door opened this one. And now it's going to do its very impressive all the bolts thing. Is anything in... Something is alive around here. Okay. 
Uh, maybe just like close this door behind me because I don't know whether I'm walking towards... Okay, it feels like I'm closer now. Okay, we've got a hatch. Fine, so there's a hatch there. Or there's a CIT concourse. Ooh. Okay. So apparently I could potentially have, yeah, if I'd explored the CIT thoroughly, if I had master lock picking, I'd be able to have just kind of skipped the back door key and come straight here. Possibly. Uh, but kind of feels like that wouldn't be the best way to do it because master... Hang on, what level is Master Lockpicking locked behind? Actually, you know what? That's only level 18. I literally could have done that at the current level I'm at. So, you know what? That's manageable. Now, mild problem. I'm going to work under the assumption that this tunnel and this water is radiated. Because, oh, of course it is. Oh, oh, but, here we go. CIT, ooh. Okay, one, if I just hang out at the side, it's fine. But I'm, yeah, hang out to the side. Hang out, hang out to the side. You can fast travel. I probably can't, game. If I just stick right to the edge, I'm actually in shallow enough water. It does not consider. Yeah, open the hatch. Open the hatch. Open the hatch. And where the heck am I? Right. Um, oh! I recognise this room. Now, am I alone? I'm pretty alone. This is the teleporter room, or rather, the area just round to the left from the teleporter room. Because, yeah, that's the teleporter room over on the right. Uh, does this room even... No! That's Subway Line Master. Okay. So, I'm in the Institute. And we've got ourselves... Oh! Right! So, learner's lab coat and a letter. Right. We've got ourselves some some stuff here. I don't think I need that. It's a unique item, sure. But intelligence 2 for weight 2? No. Instead, we've got ourselves... Now, is that a name we've heard before? Has there been a Janus so far in this game? I don't remember that showing up. And also, he's, he's pretty dead. So, Dr. Lerner's dead, except I wasn't expecting someone called Janus to be the one... Ooh. Well. I guess I know where we're going next. Also, that's a mining helmet. I wanted one of them, because that could be very, very useful indeed. Because, yeah, right now my infantry hat just gives me perception plus one. Change that out for this thing, so I can... And all fairness, that's barely saving me any weight at all. If I have the mining helmet, I've got three damage resistance, but it weighs five, and I can get rid of the infantry hat. That would allow me to drop my lantern, but the lantern weighs three. So actually, no, I'm actually better off actually just kind of tossing that away and staying with lantern plus hat. All I'm losing out on there is three um, damage resistance, and to be honest, I'm happier with one extra point of perception. And also, we got ourselves a nice med kit here. Only, yeah, nothing major. Well, the question is, I'm assuming we can't get any deeper into the Institute yet, right? I'm going to guess that's all nicely locked up, yeah. Okay, so the lift has been disabled. Hard hat, clean room suits. And, okay, this door's either glitching out or I'm not supposed to go that way. Because clearly, yeah, the Institute hasn't really been properly dug up yet. And there's, oh, that's a very disappointing first aid kit. Right, what have we got here? So we got, ooh, construction blueprints. Naughty da I'm not sure whether that was a special item, whether that was just like a random bit of, you know, junk and flavour they just left there. Okay, we got two things here. Let's start off with, presumably, Dr. Lerner's terminal. And here we are, the HR-D line. Now, this was a theory I saw in the comments where people were pointing out the HR-D whatever, like the naming protocol, was the same as a synth. Like the weapon in question, a bioweapon. Well, I suppose technically a synth impersonator is kind of a bioweapon, if you like. But then the threat that we got in the letter on the Columbia saying, I'll unleash it, well... Unleashing one synth infiltrator that doesn't have any orders isn't exactly a threat. 
to be honest. I suppose it's a threat to the scientists who want to get him back they'd never be able to find him again. Also, my working theory that I should have also picked up on last week is I'm going to work under the assumption that I am actually the bioweapon and I'm going to discover that and diddly diddly day. Like, that just strikes me as pretty obvious at this point. I'm assuming I am the bioweapon and if it is a runaway synth, then I am the first synth. That would make sense. Though we might actually be able to get some clarity on that right this moment. So we've got multiple logs. So, genetic sequences extracted from Anolis carolensis and Hydrolinaeus finally developed in subject HR-D3. So, we'll regenerate limbs upon amputation. Failure. While the subject was able to recover from the wound in a remarkable time, full limb regeneration was unsuccessful. So, by the sounds of it there, that's, well, technically, wait, did the synths ever have DNA? I think they did, because didn't they, like, um, use a DNA test to determine that, um, Paladin Dance was a synth? Like, they analysed his blood and found that, like, the DNA matched someone who was known to be dead or something. I can't remember now. Um, logically, yeah, like, synths do have DNA. So you could perform, like, genetic experiments on synths, I, I guess. Anyway, D4... Subject's been equipped with class C6 photonic resonance generator subcranial implants. So speed up cell recovery time decreases decay in long term. One not expected to field as rapid recovery times as D3. PRG implant should result in significant improvements in comparison to non-implanted recovery times. Inconclusive, some controversy over mental effects. Implants may leave subject more susceptible to auditory or visual hallucinations, mania, okay, and amnesia. Yeah, fine, it's me. It's me. I'm HR-D4. Okay, lovely. And then saying, yeah, we'll transfer them over to Oslo. And of course, they were transferred to Oslo and then transferred back. Due to the tense international climate, Dr. Leonard believes it's best for us to request that HR-D4 be returned immediately. Processing through customs will take far too long, lead to far too many questions. So we'll be going with TB again for this job. Okay, fine. So we've got that sorted out. So it is indeed either a person or a synth with some form of like synthetic implants or genetic manipulation or something, and it's me. Except there's now a new one. Subject HRD5, presumably more advanced, produced later on in the same study. So implanted with the same implants and genetically enhanced, Subject will be further resistant to cellular deterioration as well as exposed to radioactive elements. Inconclusive, subject to be transferred to Parsons State Insane Asylum. Okay, so whoever followed me, whoever was the next test subject, whether they're a human or a synth, it's still a little bit unclear because I think you can actually perform genetic manipulation on a synth. Because But then, a synth is basically just a, like a mechanically constructed clone in some ways, because so much of them is organic. Huh. Interesting. Uh, right. So we've got that. Let's get learner's own notes on this. Of immortality. Is this going to be just from the Epic of Gilgamesh again? No, no, we're going into Arthurian legends now. Lovely. So it's that old classic Fallout trope, the person who wants to live forever, and probably it turns out to be more of a curse than a blessing. Because, yeah, of course, across... Nuka World, across Point Lookout, across Fallout New Vegas, across pretty much every Fallout game, there's always somebody who tries to live forever, and generally it doesn't work out well for them. And on this occasion, yeah, it's some form of gene splicing with deep sea creatures that are basically functionally immortal because they can just regenerate any cells they lose. Ah, I'm not 100% right then. So the HRD line are not synths. They start as people, then they have incredibly advanced cybernetics implanted that change them, but that leads to the question, could at one point there be something that's entirely machine distinguishable from man, which leads into the synth. So this game's kind of, you know, setting itself up as being uh, the predecessor of the synth project. Gotcha. And indeed, the final note does just confirm, oh yeah, I wish I were a computer, wouldn't it be great to be a computer instead of a person? Right, so... Nothing too dramatic there. We probably could have figured that out just by picking up the Parsons key. That leaves one more thing. The note that we picked up. And, ooh. Smiley Hood. Now, I can't help but remember that there was a Smiley Hood in the cell with us at the very beginning of the game. Hmm. Right, Janus's letter. That's the other thing we've got to work with here. To the snake. Learner couldn't let go. Meet me at Parsons. 
together we will begin again. Question is, am I the snake? Did you leave that note there knowing that I would be the only person who could possibly actually follow him and find my way to Lerner? It's possible. It's possible. But still, we know our next destination, I guess. We are heading back north to Parsons. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, oh bloody hell, where's Parsons exactly? It's somewhere very up north because the Parsons Creamery is like right pressed up against the north of the map. I think it might be about there. So that's not too bad to get to as a starting point. I've got a pretty clear, easy run as far as Finch Farm and I can drop a save there. In fact, actually, I could then loop round to Green Top Nursery. Ah, but then there's a big body of water in the way. Yeah, probably, therefore, next week we will begin the next journey. And indeed, Parsons is quite a big dungeon. That could be a concern, because I'm going to guess there's a lot of people to kill in there, and I'm just a little bit worried about my sanity, therefore. Right, that could be very, very interesting indeed. <laughs> Possibly, before I go there, I'm going to need to see if I can actually find some drugs. Because if I could just find some drugs, some Mentats specifically, I might be able to keep myself going. I might end up addicted to Mentats, but... Wait, addiction probably has a massive sanity debuff. Oh, that's going to be an interesting thing to try and juggle. Right, we've got ourselves a new target. We're going to Parsons. It's not that far north of where I've already been. I think we can make it. Hopefully we can make it there next week, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh no! Oh dear! America's decided they do not like us! Just want to finish off China. I can die happily. Well, not happily because there's nuclear fire involved, but moderately happily. There we go! I've just started... Oh god. The Earth was fun, wasn't it? We can all agree, the Earth was great.